Hi and welcome to this short explanation video on how to make a simple income tax calculator using Java. Here we have created two different projects. First is a console based and second is a GUI app using Java X Swing components. We know scrolling articles can be boring, so let's break it down in 3 minutes. Today we are going to build an income tax calculator project in Java. Taxation systems can be complex. The amount of tax payable will vary depending on the slab on which your income lies. Look at this table to make things clear. Up to 300,000, no tax is required at all. All incomes above 300,000 are subjected to a total of 2% education plus 1% higher education cess on the total tax. You must note that the cess is being charged on the total tax and not the total income. The tricky thing here is that uh, say your income is uh, above 500,000, say it's something like 600,000. Then we have to calculate tax for two different slabs. For slab one, you have already uh, have an income uh, which is more than 300,000 and is also beyond 500,000. So you are going to pay a total tax on 200,000 for slab one. That is 10% of 200,000, which amounts to 20,000. Another uh, 100,000 which is lying on slab 2 because your total income is 600,000 which is above 500,000 so you are going to pay a tax for slab 2 as well on that extra 100,000 amount which will be of 20% which again amounts to 20,000. Now that we understand the question, let's dive into the solution. Here we have written a method calculate tax which takes in the total income as an input and calculates the total tax and total cess applied on it. For three different slabs, we have used three different variables tax1, tax2 and tax3. For slab1, the first conditional block checks whether the total income is greater than 300,000. If yes, the amount has been initialized to zero. This is the amount on which tax is going to be applied on. Basically, this amount is total income minus 300,000. So if this amount exceeds 200,000, we can simply say that our total amount is beyond slab 1 or our total amount is more than 500,000. Accordingly, we calculate the total amount on which the tax has to be applied for slab 1 which is 10% of the total amount. Similarly, for slab 2, we check if the total income is beyond 500,000. We again calculate an amount on which the tax has to be applied on the slab 2, which is total income minus 500,000. If this amount results to a value greater than 500,000, we can say that our total income lies beyond slab 2 or is simply more than 1 million. In that case, we calculate the amount of total payable income in slab 2 and apply a 20% of tax on it. On slab 3, we calculate tax as 30% of the total taxable income lying in slab 3. Since the total cess amount is 3% of the total tax in all the slabs, we simply calculate it as 0 0.03 multiplied by the total tax amount. Now we calculate the total tax by adding the tax applied on each slab and we add the total cess to return the total tax at the end of the method. It is to be noted that the program execution starts from the main method where we have called this calculate tax method with a total amount of 2 million. So tax will be calculated for each and every slab and you can see the output in the screen. The above code can be simplified to fewer lines based on a simple fact that if the taxable income lies beyond 300,000 and is also beyond 500,000, then the taxable income in slab 1 will be 200,000. So we can say for any income lying in slab 3 or beyond, they will have to pay taxes for slab 1 and slab 2. Take a look at the simplified code which gives the same result as before. We have improved our project further using Java X Swing components to create a GUI app. Whereas our logic to calculate the income tax remains same, all that has been added is the code to execute 
the Java X Swing components to create our app. The execution starts at main where we have called the constructor of this class income tax GUI. At the top of the class, you can see all the elements that we have used in our GUI app, namely JFrame, JPanel, JLabel, JText field for input and output, and JButton. In the constructor, we have written the code to configure our application. We know that the new keyword creates object in Java. To create elements of Java X Swing, you need to simply call the relative constructor to create an object of that class. Say you need to create a frame, you simply call the constructor of the JFrame class and you get a new frame. Similarly, create a panel and then set a layout using the set layout method. Create labels to display a message to the user to enter total income. Now we have created two text fields, one for the input in which user will enter the total income and one for the output in which the total tax will be displayed. Set the dimensions of this input text box and the output text box using the set preferred size method. We have also set the output text box as not editable because we don't want our users to edit the output. Now simply create a J button and add a listener. When this button is clicked, a logic to calculate tax will be executed. Say if the input is a non-numeric value, then the catch block will get executed as a number format exception will be thrown by double dot parse double method. In this catch block, we are going to display an error message in the output box. Do not forget to set a text on your button which says something relevant to what it does. For our case, it calculates the tax. Now add all the components created and configured to our panel. Now simply add the panel to the frame and set some properties like the size, the location relative to the screen and close operation which basically says that when the red cross button is clicked, our application will close. Now we are all set and our GUI app is ready to run. Most of this configuration codes are easy to understand. Try playing with it. Try to adjust the tax rates according to your own country. Have a good day. Happy learning.